Uh, greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a quick demonstration of eDex. I've already a, I've already downloaded it. Uh, so let's do uh, ls. I believe it's an image file. No, ls. Yeah, at, dot app image. Okay, so clear that. And in order to run it, just dot slash e capital D X <clears throat> and now it's going to prompt us for installation something should have happened ah there it is okay so um, you can see that it's oh all right so there it goes something's happening All right, you can hear the lots of clicking things. Let's take a look at the CPU, what it's doing to my CPU. Uh, it's pretty heavy on the CPU, 41%. I'm not doing anything on it right now. Oof. So we're running 60% minimum on the CPU. This is bash top over here, by the way. And I'm not doing anything in the AIDEX UI. Uh, but we've got the cool keyboard that might be interesting so let's um, ls okay so it's makes lots of cool sounds and you can see that as I type it shows up in the key in the image um, we've got a world view which is not clickable network traffic um, 30 out 165 in not quite sure why all the traffic is coming in and out. CPU is pretty high, 77%, 90%. So this application is quite intense. Um, top processes is Chrome, because I'm recording, of course. And then EDEX is using up 17%. So right there, EDEX UDI just popped out at uh, the top of, uh, I don't know what K-D-L-I-N-J is. Chrome is pretty heavy. Bash is running in the back. But you can see my CPUs are, are topping out. This is not an application I'll be using very often. Um, so I've got an empty Bash. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. All right. Now I'm getting all kinds of cool screaming noises in the background. Um, and again, my CPU is whacked way out. I've got a quad core and we're 100%. So this is not going to be used very often. So um, yeah, that's... Um, that's what we got. I'm not going to uh, get into it too much here, but um, it is cool. Echo. It is pretty cool. And there it is. Uh, but it's way too much CPU for my little computer. I've got, and I've got 16 gigs of RAM and a quad core, and uh, I'm not going to be able to use this very often. So. Let's see, how do I end, how do I exit this thing? Control D, and that's how you kill it. Okay, but look at the CPU. Wow, just totally sucked up all of my computer, all of my computing power. Uh, keep in mind the, um, recording aspect is also doing quite a bit of work here. I'll have to figure out what this KIDL is. It's probably the recording tool that I'm using to record the screen. So thanks for watching and uh, nod to the EDX UI guys. It's cool but super CPU intensive. Thank you.